Hello, hello, good evening and welcome to Candy's Crafts Corner. How are you all doing? I hope that somebody comes live and forgets the Grammys that are going on right now. I should have changed the time, but I'm like, I didn't do it. So now I'm stuck with 9 p.m. and I hope that some of you can do double duty or watch uh, after, after the, well watch on the replay uh, so far I cannot find me oh there we go I found myself all right I think everything is working and today I bring you some ideas for Valentine's or Galentine's project you know I like to do something that is not just for your sweetheart because then you will do only one thing thank you Kate I hope so <laughs> and you know since I don't have a sweet heart myself I rely on Valentine's Day and I like to do things for the love of friendship and things like that so my projects are not on your face Valentine's most of them even though some of them have the happy Valentine's Day you still can have a happy Valentine's Day right but anyway um, here we are um, gonna show you a pop-up car like this one isn't it cute i love these little bees and then i'm gonna show you a fun full card like this one and then i'm gonna show you a more traditional card but not totally super uh valentiney or galentiney you know like because you you know you spread the love all year round i think and that's what I like to think. So this is just a regular car. But still very cute, I think. And then I have a couple of like 3D projects. One is that my friend Conchi said that she was going to go to a Galentine's party. And she had to bring something. And she was thinking of bringing some skewers with uh, mozzarella and cherry tomatoes. Or I gave her the idea. It's like, how about some chocolate strawberries? It's like, oh, I'll make you some toothpicks to go with them. So these are the toothpicks that I created for her. They're very, very easy. Just, you know, die cutting uh, the little hearts and, and I just put them like that. So they hold up in this little package. And then just for the fun of it, I tried to make a heart shaped box. This didn't look like the best, I have to confess. But still, you know, if you can put like here a couple of Hershey kisses or a ring if you're inclined or you know or, or a coupon for something all rolled up or you know any other thing that you can think that it's small it doesn't fit a uh, Ferrari or <laughs> or a gift card but you know you can get ideas on other things that you can do with it so let's start um, We'll see about the, the 3D, but I mean, I have it ready, but I don't know. I mean, I didn't do such a good job, so I'm like, I hope I can make it a better effort the second time, but we'll see if we have time. But let's start with the cards, okay? And um, we're going to start with this fun fold, I think. Anyway, so let me bring what we have. So for this one, we had done this fun fold with my uh, team mystery project. But I did see Lisa Curcio bringing the fun. I kind of totally forgot about it. And and it's a fun, fun fold. The measurement of the final card is a little different. Because it's not your five and a half by, by four and a quarter. Because this is a little bit smaller. It's like four by five and a half. So it's like a little bit thinner than a regular card like, like this. This will be the regular card. So it's just a little bit thinner quarter inch but it has the beauty that it uses uh 12 inches of uh designer series paper and since our designer series paper are double-sided it features both sides of the designer series paper and you know how much i love that you know because you've you've heard me before sometimes it's so hard to choose which side of the paper you want to showcase and this um I just realized I forgot to die cut this, so I'm gonna have to do that very quickly. 
this is one of these folds that fit your both both sides anyway sorry i got distracted with like oh no i can't believe i forgot to do that <laughs> anyway so let me just quickly go um stamp that stamp die cut that and let you see how it looks meanwhile i'm die cutting these from the thoughtful expressions uh, set of dies that's the one that has a hummingbird and i think i used this side the, like the third yes that's it okay so i'm gonna die cut that really quickly and we're gonna start and i think i'm gonna use another color combination all right I have my cut and wash machine in the table, on the table, and you know, because you cannot have it here. Hi, Deborah. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Oh, by the way, we have four people, so two more people will trigger the uh, raffle surprise. I don't know what I'm going to raffle today. I didn't prepare that, but I'm sure I'll send a surprise to somebody once we reach six people, at least, or more, watching live. Anyway, so as I was saying, and Deborah may rem hi Emma, thank you for joining. And I, I think that Deborah may may remember that I was saying that I think we did this uh, fan fold in in one of the mystery projects with our team. It sounds very familiar. Anyway, so for this one, I used one of the celebration papers, the most adored celebration paper, and it's a beautiful paper that has designs in gold in one side and then it has um let me show some of them because they're not there some of them are used as you can see and then it has like other designs in pink and real red in flaming uh, flirty flamingo and real red real red and some squares like that and it's it's really adorable paper most adore so as i said this fun uh hi abby thank you for joining too oh well you need one more person to hit the to hit the raffle time anyway so what i liked about this is showcases both sides of the designer series paper and let's see that i i remember correctly the measurements i think this is you square i use score it at two Four and six, I believe. Somebody's trying to contact me when they know I'm live. They should not contact me right now. Anyway. Okay, so let's start with the tool. Using the scoring tool. Don't use the cutter. It wouldn't be the first time I've done that. Four. And then what I do, I turn it around. And that's just me because I'm lazy and I don't want to open the the arm to uh, measure longer measurements. But, you know, for the sake of this video, everything keeps on the table. Two and four on the other side. Emma, what are you cooking today? I just finished my dinner. I actually have to say I cooked it the other day and it was left over. It was so good. Some chicken with roasted fingerling potatoes and roasted uh, Brussels sprouts and cipollini onions. All cooked in a light, not super saucy, but cooked in sherry, sherry sauce. I like this. It's a little that I don't like the fact that it's overlaced a little bit so I'm just gonna by hand um, make it a little by hand with the help of oh chili verde and beans that sounds good is that very spicy 
anyway what i'm trying to do is just avoid that this full cut i mean it would work anyway okay now i have it positioned so it doesn't overlay uh, over light or over over whatever <laughs> you know it doesn't and now it's fine you, you see it's a good this good thing with the paper just a tiny little bit and just because i'm a perfectionist you know you don't it would work anyway so now that we have this what we have to do is we're gonna have to measure here this is five and a half so two uh, oh i didn't give you the measurement sorry hi joanne hi julia thank you for joining so the measurements are 12 by five and a half okay and you score it at two and four one side two and four on the other side and then you come up with this accordion fold kind of gatefold and now we're gonna measure here two and a, two and three quarters which is the half of the five and a half from this corner to here so basically what i have to do is measure here okay how do i do that again two and three quarters there so I have two and three quarters here. I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to put just a little mass here where it would cut, right? And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go to the two and three quarters mark and I'm going to do the little mark there in pencil so i can delete it if it's seen but maybe it won't be seen and now i'm just gonna align this mark with this corner of this fold here the first fold okay and that will give me a little triangle and i'm gonna cut it this way and we save the triangle because we're gonna use it all right, and then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Mark, align or mark, pencil mark with the, um, I hope I'm doing it correctly because I'm not on top of it. So I hope. All right, so we save the triangles because the triangles will create the magic the magic rhombus because now we're going to turn the triangle the other side and this is what we come with and see it looks like we have a rhombus here but we really don't we just cut the top of it isn't it easy anyway so let's attach that with a little bit of glue And we try to align it as close as the edge as possible as close to the edge as possible and then now that i'm here i see i can see my mark and i don't like it so i'm just gonna get my eraser and this is a needed eraser but you can use any eraser that you have and just delete the mark okay yeah all right and let's do the same on the other side This is a very easy and effective fun fold. Then it's all about you, how, how you want to decorate it. And I'm using, by the way, the same paper collection, but another design on the same package. Because I figure it's like, oh, Valentine's Day, roses and red hearts. And the other is uh, flamingo, flirty flamingo and gold stripes or like marks or something but uh, you know for variety's sake so you can see you can use just whatever paper you want as long as you have designs that are coordinate from one side to the other very rarely they don't coordinate but 
mostly they do coordinate because that's what stamping out is all about coordination all right all right so now that we're done with this five and a five and a half is the height and join and this is 12 so it's like uh the 12 by 12 paper instead of cutting it in half at six we cut it at five and a half okay and then we score it at two and at four on each side and that's the result and then we have an inset and i did this in real red which is the color that coordinates with this inside paper design and that is three and seven eighths i believe but i'm gonna double check my memory yes three and seven eighths by five and three eighths okay we're gonna put that down this will be done in no time it's an easy card recipe and i like that because sometimes you need a card in a pinch but it still wants some uh wow factor so this could be it all right oh you're welcome joanne i try to follow the comments as i go along but it's sometimes if there's more comments they disappear and i don't see them so i apologize for that and this inset uh for our note where we're gonna write whatever message we want is like three and one two three four five sorry i have to count because i'm very bad with this three and five eight by five and an eight all right and we're gonna attach that and if you want something that's more contrasted like i did here well here it had the two pinks and here it's only white and i didn't want to use two whites of course so i used the white and the red but anyway you know you can change that but at least you have the measurements and we're gonna go like this uh, add a little bit of glue And it will show a little frame around it. It will get very disguised because there's a lot of red in this paper. So it's kind of red over red, but I still like it. It looks polished. All right. So this is our interior. And I'm going to add a couple of hearts here. If I can find where I have my pre-cut hearts. I cut my hearts with uh, this die that comes in the i want to say it correctly one second i cannot bring again i cut my nails again and i cannot pick anything up this die this is part of the i have it right here so i'm gonna show you because i came prepared today or not yes no it has to be here because i saw it before yeah there we go this one uh, this is the cracker and treat box that's in the annual catalog and this is you know it has heart, uh, stars and hearts so I figures like oh actually for valentine's and back valentine projects I used all the dies with and, and the stamps with hearts I went through all my retired and current and so anyway so from this I cut a bunch as you can see and we can have different colors we can have a red and maybe a pink flamingo, flirty flamingo, sorry. And then I have a, uh, I think this is like a, the petal pink too. So I'm gonna use these three. Just a little tiny dot, and I'm, I'm gonna get my tweezers out because honestly, with my nails, I cannot do anything. Just a dot. And I'll do the same to the envelope. Or I can also use this heart for the envelope that comes in the Ring with Nature set. Also in the annual catalog. 
that set everybody sees it as a christmas set but it has so many things that could be all year round and now we're gonna go with the heart the red heart real red all right There we go. Doesn't it look cute? I think it does. And now we're gonna go for this. And this will go here. And this has the roses. So I was debating if I should still put this. Ugh, come on. Ugh, I'm telling you, my hands. I still can put this and then make the heart um, in another color like I did here with the combination of the red real red or i could cut one of these roses and put it here and then paint the rose with a uh, real red uh what do you guys think meanwhile i'm gonna decorate this with some more hearts oh actually i'm gonna stamp uh the happy valentine's day if i can find where i left my stamp or oh, here all right this happy valentine's day comes from the paper pumpkin but you can use just whatever message you you want i just had this because i was finishing with the paper pumpkins the other day so and i'm gonna do it in well, i don't have real red here do i oh uh, is it over there that sweet sorbet give me a second i may have it or maybe i'll do it in pink so it's not so red red i'll do the flirty flamingo again and if we don't like it we can do it again but i think it's gonna be okay all right this is oh uh, what are you talking about the the uh, the punch of our die uh joanne do you mean this this is the die from let me see what the name of the die is i may not have it here it's the one that comes with the okay i'm grabbing it i'm grabbing oh yes it's a die it's the this one poetic expressions it comes with these great dies that i love and that was my whole reason for getting it I do like hummingbirds, but look at these dies. Look at these dies. Aren't they great for labels? And you have these, and then you have these roundish ones, more kind of floral, scalloped ones that I love. And then it comes with these little flowers that I already die cut that we're going to decorate some with as well. Anyway, it's a great set. I love it. And here's the, by the way, let me show you since I'm here this is the stamp set very pretty julia was using it today for her coffee and a car uh, tutorial and it was it, she made a really beautiful card with it very nice anyway going back to my worries oh and this probably is now dry because i stopped so i'm gonna re-ink it just in case and as I said, you can use whatever message you want, you know, customize, customize. And where is my mat? This is my foam mat that is very dirty, but it's okay. It's still working. Happy Valentine's Day. Flirty Flamingo. Um, because we're gonna decorate with some flirty flamingo flowers it's gonna kind of go okay you see there i have two flirty flamingo flowers i have one of these that we wanna say we can put that and then we can do a red one too and then we can do it on both colors which actually kind of looks nice too or and that's what was my question to you guys uh we could cut one of these roses and paint it color it with uh 
one of these roses and color it with or, or the little one or maybe one of each and and color it with the um, uh, blending uh, pens I'm like what it calls like the blends yes that's what I was thinking about and I'm looking to see if I have any flowers in red but I don't but I have these I just don't like to have the heart here like that. Oh, well, maybe I can go here, down here. And I have this in kind of like a... It, it, I think I watercolored this, but anyway. So, anybody has any opinions on what we should do for the decoration? Are you okay with this decoration? Or would you rather see the rose? Don't have much more time because I'm going to glue these babies on and then we'll have to move on. I think we need one of these here. One flower and one heart and one flower and one heart. Or maybe just one and that's it. Yes. And then I'm going to put this heart right here. Maybe a. Is there a name for this fold? I think it's called. Ah, uh, I'm blanking. <laughs> something gatefold. <laughs> Easy gatefold or something like that. But I'll I'll find out. I, I I was saying at the beginning of the video, Joanne, that I think we had done that with my team in in a team in our uh project uh mystery project sorry but i saw lucy Li, uh, lisa curcio doing it uh last week i think no i like the baby the other one and i thought i had one other heart i didn't i had it right there yes here it is okay all right okay i'm gonna add here that I'll look for it, Joan, and I'll put post the, the name, okay, in the comments, so you guys can have the formal information. These little flowers also come from this set. This look, this de delicate dye comes from that. Oh, no problem, Joan. Anyway, so nobody has an opinion, so I'm just going to do this one, like this. It will be faster. And I think I use mini dimensionals to pop this out. And I'm actually, I'm going to uh, adhere this first. Then the petal pink, actually watercolor or by me. And then this flower that also comes from these poetic expressions dies, thoughtful expressions. I think poetic expressions, the name of the whole suite. I'm going to keep this for maybe the envelope or something. And now, now we're going to adhere this with uh, two mini dimensionals. There we go. And now we have to adhere this to the half of of like that's very important so we put it where we want it and we're gonna put glue only on this side half side of here so we can actually open it okay so okay let me see where i'm at yeah from this side not too much just a little bit doesn't need a lot
just hold it for a few seconds and that's it that's all there is to it isn't it nice and easy nice and easy still nice i'm gonna actually press it a little bit so it stays more closed never stays close close like 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 this one see it kind of goes like this but anyway once you put in the envelope to mail it it will look nice and we can decorate with uh some rhinestones but i don't think i have them handy right now so we're gonna skip that part <laughs> all right so that's the first project moving on to project number two all right and project number two is gonna be this easy that's easier more traditional kind of car okay I think that the truck is kind of cute for carrying hearts. I've seen it used with a bigger uh, heart here. I don't have this set. Thankfully today I have my handy uh, uh, catalog. But there was this set that has all these hearts. Yes, this. Um, what is it called? Bring and layering. I don't know. Adoring Hearts stamp set and Adoring Hearts hybrid embossing folder. So you can use that. I've seen that. And this will give you a bigger heart for here. I don't have this set. So I'm using what I told you before I was going to use, which is this heart from Drink in Nature. And then I did three of them. And, and then uh, kind of gave me, I, I fussy cut them. So I'm gonna uh, stamp them in, I guess, I'm gonna have to do Poppy Parade because I don't have real red here. Surprising, I thought I did, but I don't. Anyway, uh, so Poppy Parade it is. <laughs> oh, this is actually Fleur de Flamingo, I think, or is it Calypso Coral? I can't remember. This paper, by the way, comes from the garden walk which is one of the online exclusives thank you deborah i'm glad you like it so i'm just gonna go with uh three of them in, and you as you see i'm using a scrap i think this is the same red i use here and it looks good it's poppy parade and then i'm just gonna go like this and then put one on top and that's it that's my truck full of hearts Truck full of love. And I'm going to fussy cut it really quickly. I have a lot of fussy cutting to do today. I apologize in advance. I wanted to have them all the fussy cutting ready. But anyway, in this case, I don't want to leave any white uh, border. So I'm going to try to fussy cut as close as the line as pos possible. Okay. sorry i'm off camera but it's just like i need to see what i'm doing when i'm fussy cutting i'm trying to do it so it looks nice and though i have my glasses so my reading glasses sometimes i need to see it a little closer that i can when i have my camera in my nose There we go, and I'm gonna get, cut this. There we go. Okay, this is nice enough for me. This is enough for a truck, and now we have to do the truck. And honestly, I have to say, the truck always gives me a little bit of trouble, so we'll see how we're doing today because it's a two-step stamp uh first we do the inside and then we do the outline and some people do it the other way around i like to do the inside first and 
in this one I use a blueberry bushel, but I think I want to use, and I hope I don't mess it up, I'm going to use a pretty peacock because it's the color of this and I think it will be more coordinated that way. So we'll see how this works because I think this stamps, uh, in stamp, uh, it's a little old and I will need to, no, not ring it because it's re-inked, but it's a little tough. So I have a new one. I should have used the new one, but anyway, this doesn't look like it has enough ink. May have to use blueberry bushel again, but we can try. I'm pressing as much as I can. Oh, let me get my mat again to get a, as good as possible impression. All right, let's see. Surprise! Ugh, see? Nope. No, I need to replace that ink pad. I do like the color though. I I don't I don't know where it is. Uh, my new one. Yeah, there's something going on with this. I do love Pretty Peacock myself. Uh, I can do it another try. Give it another try. Let's see. Let's give it another try. Let's see. Let's see. All right, fingers crossed. If not, we're gonna do it in blue. Yeah, no, it doesn't stamp properly. Sorry, I'm gonna have to use blueberry bush bushel. I have to replace this. What a shame. I should have done it before the live, but you know, sometimes it does look distressed, but a little bit too distressed <laughs> for my taste. All right, so let's go with a brand new pad. Look how nice it looks, nice and shiny. And this is, it inks perfectly. And there we go. See the difference? That's what I want in the other one. I have to find my new pretty peacock pad and throw this one away. Sometimes you can ring them and sometimes they just dry. And then when they dry, they're very, you know, they're hard. You cannot press. They don't have any give. Yeah, well, I don't have the blends ready in my Emma. So I'm just going to use the blueberry bushel. And now I'm going to do the outline in black and I need to be close so I can line, kind of line, line it up. And I, I don't know, I'm not so good at lining this up, but close enough, it will be close enough. Oh, ah, perfect. That's the first. Honestly. All right. I'm happy with that. See, you cannot have all things going wrong all the time. That's good. Anyway, so I'm going to use, there's the filler stamp for the, the tires, but honestly, the tires, but honestly, it's so much easier to do it with a marker, the, the right marker like that. I did a little thick there. Okay. I didn't do a very good job. Anyway, I'm going to do the middle one like that. And then I'm going to use what I used in the other one. It's a Wink of Stella that I found that is silver. It's not clear. I'm using that just because, but you can use whatever. You can actually use... Uh... You see, I'm going to... It discovers my boo-boo there. You can use... Uh basic gray or whatever color you want this to be and I'm gonna put a little bit there and a little bit there all right 
And what I like about the hearts that we used is that they have a little bit of the of the reflection in white, like the the truck has the reflection in white too. So it kind of I think it looks like it's from the same uh, set, though it's not. But don't we love when things coordinate? Anyway, okay, I'm done with my star, my okay, my star, my heart. Sorry, and now we're gonna. Cut this with the punch. Try to line it up so it's equal. And this, ah, all right, these ones that cut different pieces, they're a little harder to press. So don't get worried if it didn't do it. Let me get all these other pieces. These are for the wheels and other parts of the car. So what I like to do when this is full is I like to take this edge off because I don't want a white edge between the cargo and the truck. You know what I mean? So now we can put the heart like that. And that's what we'll do. Just gonna put a little bit of, since I know where I want them, just a little tiny bit of glue there. So to keep them in the place where I want them. There. And, and this is this is done. So let me see. The other parts of the car are this beautiful label. Hopefully I cut it. Yes. That comes also in the soft subtle expressions dies with the that was showing you. It's the largest one. I'm gonna use this so much. I love that one. And I'm gonna do it in the special delivery is in the track thing. And I'm gonna do it in pretty pico even though it's not painting so well I keep oops sorry <laughs> I keep hitting the camera today I'm so sorry so I'm gonna stamp it first and I didn't use my mat but I'm gonna hold it together so that I can, I can use the mat Just to give it a little more press because this color is fading. But see, for this little thing, it worked. For the track, it's a lot, a lot of surface to ink. And it wasn't working so well. All right. So now that we have it like that, you know what I like to do. I like to raise the edges by putting this label back. On, oh, and we have six viewers. That means that we're going to do a raffle. I don't know what, but something will be raffled. All right, so then with this part of our stamping, I'm sorry, take your pick tool. I should do that on my mat. It works much better when you're on the mat. It's easier. Yeah, let's see. Much better. That's my foam mat. If you don't have a foam mat, you can put a stack of magazines or newspapers. Be careful with the newspapers because they may ink a little bit. The ink of the newspaper can get into your stamped image, uh, cut images. And this is the result. I love this. Then, all we need to do is assemble the rest of the car. Well, actually, let's put this on dimensionals where we want it. Isn't it cute? I like it. For any guy who likes a truck, that would be a good. Or a girl who likes a truck. There's lots of girls who like trucks, too. Anyway, I'm running out of dimensionals. So, I'm going to use this.
So Emma was the winner of last week's raffle. I don't know if you got uh, your prize. It was mailed on Monday. Oh, duh. What I had to do is do this first, right? Okay. Let's put dimensionals in this baby too. I'm going to put three. One in the middle and one here. There. Nobody's going to see. Oh, how cool, Abby, that you have a Chevy truck. Painted bronze. Oh, that's a nice color. Okay. So I'm going to put it like this because now I took the dimensionals. Yeah, that looks cute. It's not center, but I don't care. It's just I put the, the message a little bit more over here, but I think it looks adorable anyway. So, okay. I already took the backs of this dimensional, so I'm going to put it on the side while we work on putting together the card. And this is the paper I was talking about. I'm going to do something a little different. It's from the same garden wallpaper, so it's the same kind of color. And it has bigger flowers here instead of these little flowers. And then the back is going to be these uh, uh, diagonal lines. So, And I have the base card and Lost Lagoon. Regular base card. And this is Pretty Peacock. The layer. So let's put this. Well, actually, no. Let's do this first. Well, let's make it room. Okay, and this, I'm going to double check my measurements, but I think this is three and three quarters by, um, I, I didn't make them the same because I want one to be shorter than the other one, but I think the layer is three and the other one is two. Okay, and it's three and three quarters. So I'm going to do this one at three. This one at three. So we save the back for the top and three and three quarters. There we go. It's cute. It's very cute paper, right? I bought it because I loved it and I haven't used it enough. So I haven't used it at all. And then for the top part, we are going to do the three and three quarters by two or we can just put the, the top on, on it and so it kind of like we can do this this go like like this and then this goes on top of it And then the label will go like this. I kind of like it. All right. I'm not going to adjust this. I could adjust so they both would meet, but it doesn't really matter. Because this little strip I'm not going to use for anything else. So let's do that. This is our bottom part. Oh, I did it the other way around. Well, it doesn't matter. So this is the bottom part. The flowers on the bottom. I don't know why I like the flowers on the bottom. But I do. And this is going to be the top part. So I'm going to put the glue on the opposite side. Oh, I know what I did. I should have put that one first. Because otherwise, well, you know what? I'm going to layer on top of this. And then in this one, the top layer will be bigger than the bottom layer. But anyway, once we put this here, nobody's going to be the wiser. It just has that in the middle. But I kind of like, don't like it. Maybe like that. 
Maybe like that, yes. We'll put the flowers on the top, people. The important thing is that you don't see this transition. So this transition has to be on the thicker part of the label right there. All right, so it's a little different, but you get the idea. And now we just adhere this here. I should follow my instincts. I should have cut it so I wouldn't get confused. <laughs> yes, flowers on top. Okay. You got it because, you know, I didn't see that coming before I glued it, but now it's glued. So great minds think alike, Abby. There you go. It kind of looks cute too, right? It's different. This looks like the truck is threading through the flowers and this looks like there's it's a shower of, of um, flowers on top of the truck, the lovely truck. Anyway, um, I don't know if I put this upside down. I think it's it goes all the ways because this has a stem like this, so I, I think it's fine. And then we have some... Actually, what did I put inside here? Oh, yes. Look at what I did here. The truck is going away because it already left the horse behind. Isn't it cute? We can do that. Or I can move in and you can move on and you can make it, you know, depends. I can do it if you guys want or we can move on to the next card. You tell me. All right. So now we have pretty peacock here which I'm going to use for this. See, I'm going to do the big ones here. Like I'm going to do three here. This one has the glue all out outside. Okay, I'm going to use another one. Hmm. And then two little ones over there, up here on top. Two tiny ones. Mm, I don't know where. No, like this. There we go. All right. So what do you say? You want to do the inside or you want me to move to the next car? No comments, people. All right. I'll do the inside because I want it finished. And I did the envelope in this one with the truck coming. So this the truck is this is the envelope. This is not the inside. Okay, here. See the truck is coming and then it kind of leaves after delivering the heart. I'll do the inside then. Okay. Uh, I thought I had a pre-cut piece, and I do. When I don't know what, well, not, I always know what to do. But when I have time watching TV, I cut insides of five and a quarter by four in uh, basic white. Actually, let's not put it until we stamp it properly. I'm glad you like the color. Yeah, I love this paper. It has a great color combination. I think it's... I had missed it because it was in the... I think it's a part of the online exclusive. Okay, I need only the half of the track. After it leaves. There we go. When you have a juicy pad, after using the damaged uh pretty peacock is such a difference and then we're gonna do uh this in black the outline in black and hopefully i'll be as lucky as i was before lining it up properly it's only half the track so it should be okay yeah perfect Oh my god, I think I learned 
How? Now let's do this again. And my wink of Stella silver. I don't know why we don't carry this, but we should. You could make your own, you know, with a, a regular wink of Stella and put a, in the deposit, put a couple of drops of the refill of a, a basic gray or smoky slate and you'll get the same effect. Actually, I'm going to do this too. And now we have to do the hearts that were delivered successfully. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Abby. I'm glad you like it. I didn't know how to put them because it was a little busy, the design. So, so then we put our city hearts here already delivered. I'm floating around. That's another juicy pad. Oh God, I love to use pads that are lightly used. <laughs> but the more you use them, the less lightly used they become, right? All right, so we're just gonna put this inside. Okay, let's take this off here. Alrighty, so there we go. And then I'm gonna do another one of these. Well, uh, since I'm, I'm <clears throat> might as well do it, right? <coughs> Sorry, I need a drink of something. Thank you, Deborah, for all the hearts. I'm gonna do, as, as you could see, I missed the outline a little bit, but I don't care. The envelopes, they're never kept, you know. People usually throw them away. So, you know, I don't waste too much energy on the envelopes, even though I like to decorate them always. So we're going to put the truck coming. Oh, didn't do a very good job stamping this. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. As I said, it's the, it's the envelope. It's not so important. And then the outline. Oh. Okay. I've inked it in memento black, tuxedo, tuxedo black. And I need to see. Let's see how we do this. All right. That's much better than the original car. And for when you have this kind of thing that it didn't ink all the way here, if you want, you can get or a blender pen and just go a little bit like this. Get ink where you have ink and just put it where you don't have ink. And that covers a little bit. Anyway, distress, as Emma was saying. Right? All right, so that's our second car. And let's go with the pop-up car now. The pop-up car, I'm using the Bee Mind Suite, which is the one with the adorable bees, and they're cute. They're so cute. I love them. Anyway, in this one, I have to really thank Sandy. I don't think she's on today, but um, she, when I said like, oh, I wasn't in time to pre-order because I couldn't register in time because it's when I broke my shoulder. She actually sent me samples of every piece of paper and everything in the suite. Like, so everything came from her. So I really, really appreciate that. Anyway, and this is my card. Isn't it cute? It's a pop-up and it has a little bit of window, uh, how you call it? Window, how you call this? Window sheet. That's it. 
and a wobbler for this one here. But the window sheet, it looks like they're flying because you don't see it. So I, I think it's very cute. But there's a lot of fussy cutting. So I'm going to get to it with the fussy cutting on that so we can put it together and I can show you how to do this. I think you've seen me doing these pop-ups before. I've done it for a few of some alternatives for the paper pumpkin but you know we can do actually we can do one thing first which is put together the front the front uses these okay this is a question for you guys thank you Deborah this is a question for you guys I had this and I thought I had run out of this because as I said uh, Sandy gave me one sheet of each paper so I don't have the four sheets that you usually get I only had one um so I thought I had run of these so I had caught just in case because I didn't see that I had another piece this other one that has the honeycomb and we could use this with this for a variety or we can just use the regular one with the squares what do you guys like better Oh, how cool. I'm using this. I bought this online. And they come with uh, Deborah. Sorry, Abby. I was talking about uh, the that she pop up some springs at, at the craft store. Yeah, I use this one and they have uh, adhesive. So you'd remove these. And they're pretty good. They're like the wobblers. And I have this box that has a window. So I not, don't have to open the box looking for them all the time. Okay, plate. Okay, we're going to do the plate then. And I'm going to actually fold this properly. Another thing that I did without realizing is that I used Crush Curry in this one instead of Daffodil Delight. I mean, it still looks cute, right? But when you can coordinate everything, why not? All right, so we'll do the plate as we said earlier. The plate kind of like what I like about like I don't like about the plate is that of using the plate is that it has these adorable bees here that those are the ones that have been fussy cutting. But it's okay, I still have plenty. So yeah, and the plate kind of works better. I agree. Anyway, so I have to think of a raffle thing. Like a raffle question. And I thought of a raffle question and Okay, yeah, I remember which one I was going to do. So since we have six people... Oh, Emma wanted the honeycomb and Abby wants the plate. Well, now I... I well, we can do the honeycomb inside. Actually. Because inside, we have this plate, but we can do the honeycomb. And it will make sense that they're kind of harvesting from the honeycomb the hearts. Actually, we'll do that. So one for each. Anyway, so I'm going to write, if I can find a scrap paper, a little scrap paper, and I'm not going to write on, on camera so you don't see. Which is one of my favorite fruits. So you guys can guess. And the first one who hits what I wrote in the paper, which is one of my favorite fruits, will get a little surprise in the mail from me. All right, go, guys. Which one is my favorite fruit? All right, so for this... Fruit, fruit, not food. Fruit. Fruit as in, you know, apples and oranges. <laughs> Which may or may not be my favorite. Okay, I'm I'm hold I'm folding a little bit this. No, it's not apple. I like apples. I like fruit in general. Yay, Emma! Mango! Yes! Emma is on a roll. She won. Yay! Uh, Abby, oranges is a good I, I like it in juice, but my favorite fruit was the mango. Here's the response. 
and Emma wins again. All right, Emma, so you'll get a surprise. I don't know what it is yet because I didn't set it up, but you will. Did you get last week's? I sent it on Monday. I don't know how long it takes to get to California. Not yet, huh? Surprising. I actually took it to the post office because I wanted to make sure that it had the right stamp thingy. All right. All right, so for this one, because I didn't want to be in your face, Valentine, I used the message sending love, which comes from the winter owls. I love that set, you know that. So we're going to stamp it in Poppy Parade, which is the red in this set. And this is the sending love that we're going to use. By the way, this comes from, um, oh, I always forget the name, I use it all the time, Scalloped Contours Dice, which is in the annual catalog. I love this letter, it's so simple, the font is so simple, but I love it. This also comes from Scalo Contours, and if you see, it has this area here that is cut. So I'm using that to put my ribbon. Uh, and where is my ribbon? Here. I'm going to put just a little bit like this, and then I'm going to do a fobo because I think this is too thick. Because this ribbon is thick. This also comes in the... In, in the in the bee mind suite with the bees it's the poppy parade uh, what's it called poppy parade uh border ribbon i think there a little bit there and i'm gonna cut it like around so And stretch it this come like comes like this because also Sandy sent me a piece of that too so she's so nice so she put it around a piece of cardstock instead of a regular if you get the whole thing it will be in a spool right so instead of doing the bow i'm gonna do like a little knot so i'm gonna get a little bit more uh ribbon i'm just gonna tie a knot around it and that's it like that there we go I may trim the, the ends afterwards. Then we're going to put this here popped up in dimensionals that I hope I have enough for the rest of the live. Otherwise I have to go and climb on my so far to get some more from the top shelf there all right i think that should be enough 
removing the box. So if I forget to say it, I'll put a note on my page, but next week, because it's a Super Bowl, and most of us will be watching, the live is going to be at 1 p.m. instead of at 9 p.m. So you can enjoy your Super Bowls. And I wish all the luck to your team, Emma. I got my t-shirt, by the way. No, I didn't. Actually, I'm getting it tomorrow. So I'll show you a picture. My blingy t-shirt. Uh, we need this baby here flying. Which one is it? I think I had one that was already pre-cut. Okay. And this one, I want a little bit of white around it. Just a little bit. Another thing, the white makes it easier to fussy cut too. Because otherwise how you do these little legs, I can do them both together. Now, because I'm leaving a little bit of white. So it's a busy week for me because tomorrow is my birthday. And I'm working half day. I said I'm taking the other half of the day off. Bling, yes, I love bling. So I'm going to go to the movies. And then I'm going to meet some friends for uh, some drinks and bites. But I didn't leave much white there. But anyway, I'm doing what I can because I'm far away from that. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, everybody. And because, but because it's Monday, most of my friends cannot do much tomorrow, so I'm postponing my celebration for later in the week. But then, you know how it is. Uh, some friends cannot make it, somebody wants to take you out another day, and I never say no. So <laughs> it's going to be a busy week. And then the following week, I'm going back home to get my shoulder surgery oh i'm gonna watch these poor things the emma stone movie i've heard great things about it i loved this director's last movie the favorite i didn't like the the movie that he did before that the lobster i didn't like it that much but okay I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, the bottom of the heart. I don't know why the glue is not coming out. There. Here, right? I think whatever you do with this, um, with this bees is cute. Because the bees are cute, so you can do just whatever. Just put the bee on it, and it's going to be a very cute project. Anyway, so I use these gems that come in the suite as well. Candy, where is my... Oh, here. Trusty uh, pick. And I'll use one of each color i use one of each color and i'll have to buy more because i'm gonna use this one here actually yes this one here and the red one there and then we're gonna get the yellow one i'm gonna put it over there or here down here no up all right oops a little too close to the letters Alright, so this is the outside of the car. 
That's the easy part. Everything is taste time, right? And that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure I'm get to make the box, but I can show you how I kind of made it. So, anyway, so let's use what Emma said to use a honeycomb. So we're gonna use the honeycomb on the inside, and we're gonna adhere that to begin with. It's so cute. This it's such a happy paper. I love it. I don't know why this is dried, I think. Okay, let me see if I can get the glue that's dry and stuck and in blocking the rest of the glue come from coming. Yes, see. Sometimes that's what happens when you don't put the cap on your blue. And I wasn't. So I love the Oscars. And I usually host an Oscars party in my house. My tiny house. Yes. But still. So I try to watch at least. A good bunch of the nominated movies. But this year I'm very behind. But yesterday I did watch um, Society of Snow, which is the Spanish movie that uh, is nominated for Best uh, Foreign Language Film. It's Spain's entrance for that. It's about the Uruguayan rugby team that got stuck in the Andes for uh, two months. Very, very tough, but... Anyway, by the way, let me give you measurements. This is for the middle parts here, for, for the, to create this, these two squares, right? So we're going to score this, I mean, like, I actually, like, at three quarters of an inch, and then one, like, every three quarters for the little one, and this is one inch wide, and this is three inches total. So I'm going to do three quarters okay. try not to move it candy so have you guys watched any Oscar nominated movie other than Barbie and Oppenheimer I think those are the ones that everybody has watched okay this didn't come at one then the three quarters I think Exactly the three quarters. Yes, it did. Okay, good. Okay, three quarters. So then three quarters would be more, would be one and a half. And then three quarters more. We're moving in three quarters by three quarters, three quarters, two and a quarter. And that's it for this one. And then we have the square. And we're gonna glue it like this to the bottom okay and then the other one is one by five should be five and a half why is it high five and a half i think i didn't cut it properly but anyway we'll know because the other one has to be scored at one and a quarter One and a quarter, yeah, it should be five. One and a quarter, and another one and a quarter, so that would be two and a half. As I said, I'm not very good with measurements, these measurements in inches and quarters and eighths. Two and a half and then one and a quarter it will be three and three quarters right am i doing my math right i think i am and then the last one should be a five so the last one i'm gonna cut because i didn't cut it before that anyway. so 
so that gets thrown away. All right. So now we make sure that we cut it properly so we get our square. That's what we get. And this is go will go like this. And we'll align this edge here that where they meet with the fold of our card. So you don't see it. It looks a little cleaner that way. Okay. And we'll do that with both. But I have to fussy cut all these pots of gold now. Of oh honey, sorry, pots of gold. You know, I'm thinking... I don't know if I left white around. I did. Oh, well. I didn't in this one. But I'll do it in the upper parts. Just to go a little faster. I really wanted to do the fussy cutting before. But I ran out of time. Well, I didn't. I just needed to eat before. So I don't faint on camera. Right? Alright, so... These are easy to fussy cut anyway. They're pretty much straight lines for the most part. Except for the bows. It still looks cute. So nobody's watched any nominated movie lately that they can recommend or not recommend. Society of Snow, if you have Netflix, it's on Netflix. So that's one that you can watch. But it's, you know, not for everybody because it's one of these drama how you call it like the the movies catastrophe movies is it but it's very good this is, you learn about the personalities of all these people all right and this came out very nice and then I think I only have to do one of the bees because I have the other one already fussy cut. So Yeah, it's, it's good, and I love when you can watch it on Netflix, right? Then, you know, I, I don't know how expensive the, the movies are where you live, but here, then $20. To go to the movies is $20. So, you know, you don't want to be lukewarm about the movie. You want to make sure that you really want to see the movie, because $20 is quite a bit of a high price for a movie. All right, so we have that, and I think I have this B fussy cut here. Oh, I had a pot already fussy cut. Look at that. Oh, well. And then I have also the base for the interior of the car that I uh, that I, um, embossed with stitch with whimsy because it looks like this little b um flights right anyway so i'm gonna adhere that for oh is that a movie i thought it was a series a griselda i want to see it she looks so weird in that one i don't know if she has prosthetics on or something she meaning sofia Vergara. oh thank you for all the hearts and likes
so we're gonna put this first before we put our mechanism i think all fussy things here i don't know why i don't remember if i glued this first and then i did the maybe probably i did that and then we'll put the Oh, it's a series. Oh, cool. I like series because they last longer. <laughs> Gives me something to watch for two days in a row or three days in a row or whatever. Depends on how long the series is. So what I did, I put glue on the top part and the very bottom part. The rest of the parts are going to be uh, without glue because that's where we're going to glue our stuff. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to close it to make sure that I'll be able to close the, the car afterwards. And that's it. Oh, I did the, the big one here. Oh, well, I'll do the other. It's going to be different than the other one. And then we'll do the same for this one. The, the little shorter. I don't mind if they're long. As I said, I appreciate that. But there's some TV watching that I have to do when I'm having dinner and paying attention. But otherwise, if I'm doing something like cards or projects or something, I need something that I don't have to pay that much attention to. So if it's good, I don't want to watch it. You know, if it's too good. All right. So I'm just going to do the same. I put it in the bottom. And then I close. And now I have my two mechanisms. I'm going to open it up like that too, so I know where I have to put my stuff. So I'm going to do the big pot of honey here and then the little pot of honey here. One is going to go right to the edge, I mean off the edge a little bit and directly glued on my mechanism. And the other one is going to be go in a dimensional or two hopefully one because i don't have that many and also coming out of the of the base a little bit the base of the mechanism a little bit so i'm gonna put one hopefully it will stick yeah like that oh i forgot i have to put a little bee silly girl all right so for the little bee i still can put it behind don't worry uh i have a piece a quarter uh inch high of a strip of um window sheet the important thing is to measure when the car is folded how far up you can put your b because you don't want it sticking out here right so it's important i'm gonna cut this in half this is let me measure it for you measuring uh i think it was four inches it's four and a quarter so i'm gonna be, do two and an eighth and then it will be kind of half it doesn't matter because it depends on where you glue it oh, it moved and it cut it crooked but it doesn't really matter at all because this is not gonna be seen so i'm gonna put my crooked side like this can you see it i'll add some more glue to this so it sticks. Sorry, I'm adding glue here. And I'm going to stick it behind the big pot of gold there. Or maybe a little crooked. It doesn't matter that it's crooked because I want them to be playful. Right? The bees. Then we're going to get this bee. And we're gonna put it like that but let, let me see how far up i can put see what i mean you have to kind of line it up and see uh 
we're gonna have to put it we're gonna have to cut it this it, it looks like oh there's plenty of room but when you cut it it comes up so and because this is the one that comes farther up it, it needs to be a little tiny shorter than what it is to make sure that this won't come out and I'm measuring here and now I can put it right here uh, I should have put it not there I should have put it on the right behind yeah the antenna I, will, I have to clean once it dries I have to clean the excess glue because you don't want this sticking to your background so let me see if i can have a little bit of napkin here all right and i'll let it dry first so it looks like she's a little low but that's how it goes because you know look how far up it goes here can you tell it's almost to the edge of the yeah, don't forget the bees. No. Hi, Danette. How are you? Look at this. This is, I think, my record of people watching live. Eight people. Danette, you missed the raffle, though. But anyway. Next time. All right. So this one, I have to fussy cut another bee. I want one that has the eyes open because this one has the eyes closed. This has the eyes open. This one has the eyes closed. So anyway that b is gonna be fussy cut that's the other one that's gonna be floating around and i have to put one in in the wobbler in the background so i'm gonna have to fussy cut yet another one don't you love to see me fussy cutting I'm being sarcastic here. Yes, it's my birthday tomorrow. Thank you, Danette. I, st I still have to work to go to work, but as I was explaining to the ladies, I'm gonna work half a day tomorrow. There we go. Now we have more pots of gold. Pots of honey. Gold honey. And I'm going to put this one in the back. And this one to the front this time. Yes. Just a little bit of glue. Because I'm going to put it outside. And this one with a dimensional. Actually, when I put, yeah, well, one because it's but down there. Yes, one, one dimensional will do. And then we have to put before I glue this. Make sure I put this guy here. Let's see how far back he goes. I have to move it down okay i'm gonna put it like that i'm gonna actually do it another way i'm gonna put the glue here just a little bit because it's paper it's very light and then i'm just gonna close it making sure that i'm not gonna glue my car but the b i'm gonna hold it oh thank you danette i would love to get a car and there we go look I like when it's longer, it kind of wobbles a little bit more. You see, this one is more stuck, but because this, this mechanism is a little deeper because I wanted two different dimensions here, uh, you know, it goes farther up, but they both end up almost at the same height, you see, almost at the border of the car. Anyway, and now we're going to put one in the wobbler, and which one is going to be? I don't know. Oh, we have to put the pot of gold here now that we put the other one 
pot of honey. I keep saying pot of gold, but no, it's a honey. And I don't know. I think I have to cut another one. I don't want to put another one like this. I think I'm going to put another one like the, the one in the front. All right. So let me find another bee. I don't have that many left. As I said, I use that paper a lot. Not many parts left of the bees. But I should have some. There we go, here. Okay, so I've used this one inside. I've used it. I think there's only three, right? Well, there's one that goes this way with the open eyes. Then there's one that goes that way with the close eyes and then there's one that comes that way okay i think we need this one this one or this one i think this one or this one is the same one yeah this one is closer here to the edge so i'm just gonna cut that one Thank you, Deborah. I, I love it. But as I said, you know, with these bees are so adorable. Anything you do is cute. But when I saw them, it's like, oh, they kind of have to fly. It's like when we had that, what is it, the Brilliant Butterfly Brilliant set. I had to put those butterflies in a way that they could uh, fly a little bit. And I love using the strips of window sheet for that or wobblers like i'm gonna do to this guy this is gonna be a little farther down in so i don't want to go too much over time because then i'm gonna run out of battery like it happened last week <laughs> so i'm gonna finish this card and explain how i made the other box and such and and the little uh, the toothpicks that the peaks are very easy so i can demonstrate that but you know okay let me find a wobbler now this is almost it with a card so it's fine it's we're almost done but last week was like i don't know so long and my phone was not charged a hundred percent and that's why we lost the battery so you take the adhesive out of these things it's harder to do when you don't have any nails and i never know which one to put i think i'm gonna put this in the back and this that has more surface adhere to the B here so it will go like that and then we'll put this one like that press really hard and that's it or flying little bees and they're cute I think they're cute I think there's something here that it's maybe this is too far uh, let's see Something was making noise when I folded, but it seems to be working. Just pressing that. It takes longer to dry when it's not paper and you adhere plastic or something. So anyway, so that's the car. So now that we're done with that, let me clean this up and show you the other projects that are not cards. So one was this little box that I made with the heart. It didn't come very nice, as I said. It's, I, and I think part of the problem is that the cardstock is very heavy to keep the shape of the heart. Maybe. I don't know. I used the... How you call it? The heart shape uh, duo of punches. So I had these for the top and these from the bottom. 
and for this one I was planning to use um, strips of paper rather than cardstock see if that works better for the sides and what I did is I measured all around it's six it's six inches and then what you do is just uh, you have to get at least a quarter inch uh, fold in your strip so you can uh, adhere that top part and this is where it would get, get glued to the other side right like that and then this will go like this then you fold this inside and you keep it in place let me do one I'll do the top part or the bottom part I don't know which one this is actually should have che checked because I did one it's a little shorter than the other one like an eighth of an inch shorter so it could fit inside because yesterday I didn't do it like that and it was not a good idea so let's see that this goes what I did is I put um, glue dot here to hold my initial um, where's my trusty tooth up. okay I cannot find it oh here we go I did a glue dot that now it's it better if it's flat not like this to hold where they're gonna go like this and then it's just a matter of just putting glue and holding it in place putting glue and holding it in place until it dries it takes a little bit of time because it needs to dry all right and then you do the same to the other side but for to this side i did it a, fa a little bit farther in so i just let me demonstrate one and this is the one that i'm doing to the edge and the other one i would do it a little farther in because this is it's a little bigger so you need the the part that comes out okay and then what i did is just i went all around the edge and i'm not gonna finish it because it takes a while to dry and then you have to kind of um play around it because the paper wants to unfold so you have to make sure that you hold it in place while it dries so it, as i said it takes a little bit of time and then you just go like this and hold it down and it has to go to the edge that's what i'm talking about see you have to kind of play with it and it fights you and everything but anyway that's the point and this gets stuck at the bottom and the glue dot that we put there and now this glue dot because it wasn't flat is not holding it anyway you know as i said it takes time and you have to play with it until you're happy uh, right that kind of goes like this And then this gets a touch here when it's dry but anyway you got you got you know what i mean you know but you have to be on top of it to be ad adjusting it the whole time and then you do the same to the other part and one goes inside of the other one and you end up with something like this and i actually cut another heart to put it inside to cover all these in this case i would i, I would do a, a gold or with the same paper so it kind of coordinates and and you have to trim it a little bit smaller because otherwise it would be it wouldn't fit all right so anyway yeah i'll play with it later and see if i can salvage it salvage it sorry it's not savage it. <laughs> savage is right now anyway and then this is what i made for my friend's galentine's party and she's bringing some she's not sure if she's bringing chocolate uh covered strawberries or like some skewers with um 
with uh, mozzarella and cherry tomatoes and basil. So I told her, it's like, oh, I can make you some pigs. And for this, I use this old punch that I had because it has the right size of heart. It's not a stamping out one. It's like super old. I don't know. It, it, it's so old that it was $2, you know. Now it wouldn't be $2. $2.99, but I think I bought it on sale. So basically, I just got strips of red paper, whichever paper you want. I'm going to save this for the box, sorry. And let me grab some more paper. Like this. And you just get two of them. You have to open because they kept, they're kept inside. And you can decide if you want the gold part. You glue them the other way. You, you can use whichever paper you want. And for the beginning part, I used... Uh, thank you. For the beginning part, I used turn tape. And just a little bit to adhere. I have this peaks that are a little longer than the, your regular toothpicks just to hold my pick in place and then I just remove the backing and now I put extra glue because this was just for these I put extra glue where there's no tear and tape And then just put it like that on top. And that's it. Well, make, make them match. It'd be better if they matched. But that's it. And then what I did is that I just, uh, well, this one is falling apart because I think it, I broke it. But basically, I got a strip of cardstock. And with my piercing mat, well, it was scored in the middle, like so. And then with my piercing mat and my piercing tool, I just went two holes like that, and then two holes like that. And then you can just skewer this like this. And since I don't want anybody to get hurt, and I made this little pocket, which is just like two strips of paper with a tear and tape here to put this inside. All right. And to hide this ugly thingy. <laughs> well, it's not so ugly, right? But anyway, then you just decorate as you wish. You know, I use the same two combination of cards with one for the scallop edge and one with the other one. And I uh, hit them both in white and with white embossing powder and that's it that's all i got for you because i'm not finishing the car because it would take us another 45 minutes and you know some of you want to see the end of the grammys right anyway i'm gonna put this one here and see all right so i hope you like the projects of that i brought today and that inspires you a little bit in doing something nice for Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day. And anyway, next week, as I said, I'm going to the projects again. Oh. Let me bring the project again. Oh. That's somebody wishing me happy birthday from Spain. Like it's like five in the morning in Spain. So I don't know who's awake. <laughs> but it's very nice anyway uh the projects of today uh were this the little truck and the gate i apologize for the noise thank you and then this little thing and the box <laughs> the sort of kind of box <laughs> You know, it would fit some uh, Hershey Kisses or some small chocolates or something. Once you finish it. 
anyway i hope you enjoyed uh and this is of course the pop-up card uh i hope you enjoyed the projects i'll see you thank you danette i'll see you all next week remember because it's the super bowl i'm gonna come early at 1 p.m um and that's it and that's probably gonna be my last uh thank you deborah that's pro probably gonna be my my last life for a while because then i have surgery on the 21st and i don't know how i'll be uh so first i'll be in spain which, where i don't have my my stuff but then um yeah then we'll see they told me well, i would recover quickly but we'll see about that right so hopefully i'll be able to come back in early may uh, early march uh with the lives again but i'll keep you posted thank you all as always i'll see you next week uh emma you'll get a little surprise in the mail for the uh the raffle today and i'll see you all next week for more paper fun thank you bye